I'm back again for the month of June, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. Yes, that's a little bit repetitive, but the music good. <laughs> it's a corporate world. Um, this is some of the most simple indie pop you'll get all year, and it's not simple. It's like, wow, they really didn't do much there. It's simple as then it's not difficult to comprehend. It's, it plays very easily to, you know, it kind of brings you back to the days of Paul Simon and old pop albums like that. Um, but they even have a gir uh, song called Simple Girl and perfect pop candy right there. Um, but yeah, it's a corporate world. Check that out. Next we have Jillian Welsh with The Harrow and The Harvest. She hasn't come out with an album in, I believe, five or six years. And uh, this, besides her other album, Time the Revelator, may be another one of her masterpieces and may just be folk album of the year. Um, uh, her and her collaborator, I think it's her boyfriend, I can't remember his name right now, I'm tired, um, put together one of her best releases to date. Ten songs, no frills, just straight beautiful songs and her beautiful voice. That's it. Next we have Ice Age with New Brigade and this album Blast Out From The Gate. Not on the intro but the second song in it goes forward and doesn't stop. Um, brings to mind uh, punk stuff of the past like Wire. Um, a little bit of the clash but it's uh, 28 minutes and no song is under no song is over three minutes. It's all two minutes slabs of fast, furious fun. Yeah, you like that alliteration? Um, next we have t the Tedeschi Trucks Band. This is Derek Trucks and uh, Susan Tedeschi together on one of the, if not the best blues albums of the year uh, with Revelator. Um, it's been a lot. I don't know if they've ever collaborated on anything together before, but if they have it, this is uh, this is really good. Um, yeah, like I said, one of the best blues albums of the year. Um, next, we have the Ladybug Transistor with Clutching Stems. For anyone who's been with them for the past 15 years, for however long they've been doing it, they are one of the best indie pop bands indie bands of all time. Um, it's, it's always quality with them and uh, it just seems like they keep improving with each release. So this one's one of their best ones. Um, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Next we have These Trails with These Trails. This is a Hawaiian reissue that was only an LP that was only pressed for like 400 or 800 copies. Um, but it's like freak folk, acid folk, psychedelic stuff. It's some of this strange stuff, but you'll you'll be uh, pretty entertained. I'll just say that. And lastly, we have uh, my favorite album of the month, Shabazz Palaces with Black Up. Um, this is a this is a rap album on Sub Pop, which is known for their alternative stuff and. Yeah, this would be alternative rap, but there's a kitty. That's my cat down there. Um, but there's so much going on in this release. It's electronic stuff, dubstep, and uh, these are guys who are in uh, Diggable Planets, and it's they've come so far. They've uh, it's leaps and bounds, honestly. Um, but yeah. That's, that's my favorite album of the month. And don't be surprised if you'll see it on a lot of people's um, year-end list because it is that good. It's, uh, the sounds are just incredible. Check it out. I'll see you next time.